welcome to another episode of The Perfect Finish with me, Sylvia Senanayaka. Thank you for watching the past few tutorials for all your messages and inquiries. Today we are going for a Sunday brunch look, uh, which is perfect for even an outing during the day and so on and so forth, whether it be food tasting or anything of that sort, because we're going to be wearing, uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to have your lipstick um, last longer so that you don't have to keep touching up especially when you're at these events or even a Sunday brunch uh, you won't really have time to keep touching up because you're enjoying all the food so yes let's get started so I've already moisturized my skin I'm going to be using my primer and as I always say primer is really important so you want to have that um, real smooth silky finish and if you're somebody who has oily skin then you want to go for a matte primer something that will kill the shine so it's best that you first find out what sort of skin you have and then it's a lot easier to work on that and next we're going to be using a foundation so if this Sunday brunch is usually in indoors but if it's outdoors then in a few of my previous tutorials, I have taught you how to really, um, you know, use your translucent powder before your foundation and then use your setting spray in between so that it won't really break out in a sweat and it won't, you won't have your makeup melt off. So today we're starting with the foundations and I'm using Maybelline as well as MAC. I, I'm mixing those two and um, I'm not going to have layers and layers of foundation. I'm just going to make it look very natural and I don't like using brushes mainly because it just gives that like it just a little bit extra whereas the uh, beauty blender just tend to, tends to absorb everything and so it works best for me again you could use whatever works best for you and I'm mixing these two which one is a little bit lighter than my shade and one is exactly my shade um, with the beauty blender and just Start on your jawline and just work your way in to your skin. So the best thing about a beauty blender is that just it just takes off all the extra foundation and all of that. It just absorbs and it's a lot easier to apply evenly on your face. So before I go in with my concealer, I'm going to be using a little bit of powder just to set the foundation and help everything stay in place. Um, so after my foundation, I'm going to be using my brush. I'm going to be setting my face with the brush just because I don't want to break out in a sweat. And evenly even go on your neck, your ears. especially your t-zone if you have oily skin so I'm setting my face with the powder and then I'm going to go in with the concealer um, under my eyes and under any uneven areas And you want to go even towards the corner of your eye because it makes you look more awake. Um, just brightens it up instantly. Uh, here, down your nose. So if it's indoors, you can actually go ahead and contour and I think I will be contouring today. Um, and then use a bit of bronzer even on top of that. Um, if you have oily skin, as I say, do not contour with a cream stick, uh, with a cream based stick, because it'll just. And then you want to contour here below your cheekbones, jawline, just a bit above there, and here. Not a lot, just a bit. We're gonna go in with this brush and just press it in lightly but like hard enough for it to blend 
in your skin and then you push it in down your jawline into your jawline this has to go into your hairline you can always um, use your beauty blender and even it out so i mean depending on your features i mean your nose and everything else you just have to play around and then find out what works best for you just because this works best for me it's because i know my features so well it does not mean that you you know it will work for you as well but and of course if the branch is outdoors whatever it is even if it's during the day you always have to wear a sunblock i had already worn my sunblock then i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just blend um my concealer and why i do this after is because then i know that whatever lines and everything that is showing will just be um you know will blend thoroughly and you just want to push under your eye Like this very lightly and again at this stage before the concealer if you want to wear a corrector it's completely up to you um, when I do want full coverage that is what I do and I will be showing that in my next videos and then just blend it into your forehead like this but a lot of you had asked me if corrector comes uh, if you're supposed to wear the corrector after the concealer, no, you wear it before, under. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to set it with a bit of powder so that everything just stays in place again. And under the um you know you're contouring just under that around your nose area where it does get um oily and i'm not going to be wearing any eyeshadow for this because this is a day look but i am going to do my liner and um then just very lightly Pencil eyeliner. Be using this. I like to smudge the corners usually because I feel it suits my eye better. Sometimes I go under there as well. Next, we'll be using a little bit of blush. Um, you know, if you're like a tan skin, then all these coral colors or um, more orangish tones would be best. And just go and maybe a little bit of blush on the sides since we can't do it already. So next we're going to be curling our lashes we're not wearing fake lashes today so because it's a brunch and uh, you know it's a daylight event and everyone will be you know right next seated next to you and all of that so we'll be curling lashes like this and you want to just hold it for a few seconds as i've shown in the other videos as well 
it's a little bit longer usually when I do it um, and then go in with the mascara so yes there you have it last but not least I would go for a darker color um, to do my um, on my lips uh, just because you know we'll be eating throughout and all of that and um, so for that and maybe like a little bit of gloss on top but definitely yes a, a darker color maybe I will like mix two um, colors yeah so this is MAC D for Danger matte lipstick the rim is like And I line my lips with this as well. And another little tip to have your lipstick last longer is just jawline inside. Then I'm gonna take my nude one and Let's go over it. It gives like a beautiful shade. You might want to wipe that off after. So we mix those two shades, and if you feel like that's not dressy enough, then you can always go on in and wear some gloss uh, just a bit so that it gives you that shine sort of. And with this, you don't really have to worry about keep touching up because it's actually long lasting and it will be there throughout your lunch okay, so then you want to finish off with your setting spray uh, which is this just let that get into your skin and this is the final look so um, it's perfect for a day outing like I said and it's called the Sunday brunch look I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned a few new tips and uh, stay tuned for more. Thank you.